Hello everyone and welcome to DevScope YouTube channel. We are here today so I can show you a way to replicate the function partition by row number in Power BI. The goal is to create a column index that can display the ordering of rows with certain categories. Here we were able to order the country and the category uh, by the date. This is useful for tasks such as sorting, data analysis and detail reporting. But let me run it back a little bit. So, as you all know, partition by is a well-known SQL function that is used to group various categories so that we can later calculate multiple values. For instance, to calculate the total sales generated by the motorcycle uh, category. Row number is a function that generates number in ascending order and when used in conjunction with partition by, will display rows in this order of one or more columns. Therefore, with these two functions together, we can arrange values by categories. Now that we review what are the function partition by and row number, we can pass to the particle part of this video. So we have here an Excel table with three columns, the column dates, uh, when occurred the sale, the column country, where occurred the sale, and finally the category. Uh, we need to sort these columns uh, by this um, order. First the country, then the category, and finally the date. We need to add the index column so we can check the order of the rows is correct and for a second reason that I can show you later. We're gonna go to add column, index column, custom, and we want an index column starting with number one and add an increment of one. Now we are ready to load this table to the model. In the table view, we're going to add a calculate column and with Xcode, we can replicate partition by row number in Power BI. We're going to go to new column and add this code. So we're going to use the function calculate because we're going to use two or more DEX functions. The, the function count rows is to give the give a number to the row and the filters is to make sure that each row is unique and the order is correct. The first filter will make sure that the date of the row is always older from the row above and these filters will make sure that the row is unique when um, we have the same values to these categories. We're gonna commit this code and at the first sight, uh, everything looks correct, but if uh, we look closely, we can see these numbers are equal and is not correct. But why this is happening? We can see that the date is the same, the country is the same, and the category is the same as well. So the DEX code cannot differentiate these two rows. So we need to add another uh, column to the DEX code so we can so the DEX code can see that these rows are different. Now that we add index column to the DEX code, we are saying that uh, the value of the index uh, of the row is always higher from the row above. We're gonna commit this code. and we can see that this resolves the problem. And this is a way to replicate partition by in Power BI. Hope this video helped, and if you enjoyed, please like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any tips. See you soon.